welcoming you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for our main event. 12 rounds of light heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here. This is a 12 rounder. Here's round number one. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Halfway through round number one. And there he is scoring with the right hand. Able to land the hook to the head. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Come on, kid, focus! And a right hand lands flush. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And yet another big shot comes in. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. To the head he goes with a left hand. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. Way through round number two. Come on, kid, focus. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Keep doing what you're doing. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Good body shot, the right hand came home. And he decides to tie up again. Just like that, just like that! He scores with the left. Final 10 seconds. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. 
He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about in laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do at tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Had his target in mind, but just missed. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He scores with the jab. Good left hand able to land. That wasn't able to land. Big left hand. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. There you go. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Last 10 seconds of round number three. We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking the lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. Committing to the combo now, both land. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Not able to land the headshot. Keep it going. How about that left hand? What? Ten what? seconds remaining in this round. Downstairs with a right hand. And we come to the end of the round, and you know his trainers got to love that because they stress, hey, go out there and be smart with what you're doing. He was very smart about when to throw and how to land it. And that's the key in the sweet science. Placing your punches, as you said, making them count. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Come on, keep smoking. Halfway into round number five here. Off the mark there.
Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Scored well up top. That punch just close. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Halfway through this round here. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Keep moving. Keep moving. And now he's targeting upstairs. Well, if you're a fan of being defensively sound as a fighter, this isn't the guy to watch because he's opening up all day long. Yeah, he is. You know, he reminds me a little bit of my pool guy, you know. He doesn't put, yeah, he, he doesn't put chlorine in the darn pool and, and algae comes around. Well, if you don't throw your punches short, well, algae's not going to come around, but straight punches are coming. Scores up top with a left. Just off the mark with that punch. There's no need to fight his son. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Solid overhand left. Gets rid of that body shot. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Halfway through this round. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. in the clinch. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Side to side. Three minutes gone by in this round. You need to create more counts, okay? 
lift his punch, then go a straight right down the middle. Teddy scorecard through seven rounds. He's got a commanding lead right now, and he's just been the more effective guy, Teddy. I love what he's doing. He's picking his spots, and when he does throw punches, they are purposeful. Yeah, they are. He's making everything count. As you said, he's got a reason for everything he does in there, and that's because he's calm. See, that's a talent, too. We always look at the other talents that are easier to wrap our minds around, you know, power, speed, but what about being calm? Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Wow! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four. Reaches the count of 10. That's it. Knockout. Never saw the punch coming. Let's get the official particulars and send it up to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Super. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible.